from the studio that brought you all those f***ing Transformers movies. Nickelodeon movies. You are extraordinary, my sons. Splinter's pep talk isn't narration, but it's narration. Destined to protect the people of New York. Why does this radioactive superhero sh never happen in Detroit? A dark force is growing. Isn't it always? Known as the Foot Clan. So named because they step over the good people of this city with no regard. Hey, what should we call this group of bad guys? I don't know, the Foot Clan? Why? Because they step over good people with no regard? That's stupid. And yet history tells us the name stuck. Also, the Foot Clan didn't name themselves, and yet they still go by a name given to them by police and do-gooders? Movie cribs a few minutes of title sequence from the slow-mo guys. Fruit Ninja. You're not yet ready to go above ground. So they've been practicing against each other alone? That's pretty worthless training. Maybe they're not ready for the Foot Clan, but couldn't you let them train on a petty purse snatcher or a drug dealer? April O'Neil isn't a porn star in this scene. April O'Neil goes from wearing a gray shirt to this black jacket with a purple boob shirt to a purple jacket with a gray shirt after doing trampoline boob jumping jacks. Why did the trainer and the fifth demonstrator behind him not warrant mini trampolines like the rest of the crew? You ever heard the expression, never take candy from a baby? It's because even babies love candy. Simply dropping Job from Arrested Development into random ass movies does not improve said random ass movie. Also, a movie about Ninja Turtles is opening with a character that is not a Ninja Turtle. I didn't buy this ticket for April O'Neil, man. People who ride bikes in normal traffic lanes like they think their cars and shit. Why did April bike all the way here just to Skype with the guy she wanted to talk to? Maybe he wasn't there and she decided to call him, but damn, why didn't she call first before making that bike ride? Also, this guy who doesn't want to be interviewed answered the phone using Skype. Also, April assumes this guy has Skype on his phone. I'm guessing this was just a big reason to advertise Skype, wasn't it? Also, this guy she's chatting with is keeping his phone incredibly still during this call. A series of thefts on the dock has not improved security one bit. I guess New York has only the Ninja Turtles to save them. April O'Neil just happens to bike past a chemical cargo theft in progress. Convenient viewing tear in fence lining is convenient. Get out of my way. Copy that. Get out of my way, copy that. The image on the screen looks pretty good. Why can't she still take that picture? Leonardo picks the one night where April O'Neil is working on this one specific crime to come out for the first time. Look, if there was low light before, there's low light here too. So don't be giving that she can take a picture all of a sudden sh Also, obsessed reporter tries to take pictures now rather than during all the action. Hey, I am Skyping with my you mom. No and Michael Bay is blowing Skype's mom. I was riding my bike by the docks. It was raining. Never mind that I don't look remotely wet. Pay attention. There is someone fighting back against the Foot Clan. And now I have my story. You didn't get video of anything you're talking about. All you did was take a picture of some graffiti. But I think that you're gonna wanna hear that I have to say. I and here it is. Last night I saw something I did not photograph or film, but was newsworthy. What do you think? I'm gonna pretend we never had this conversation. Me too. William Fickner is playing an evil businessman cliche. I'm no not expert, but I'm pretty sure this is easy to break out of with about 10% effort. Omae wa sono kume no shita I don't believe in fairy tales. Why did you say that one thing in Japanese and then switch to English for this? It's what society wants to reduce the Foot Clan to. A myth. If you watch Batman Begins, then surely you know there's actually considerable value in myth. Capture the vigilantes however you can. Whoa there, Chief. She only mentioned one vigilante. You seem to already know that there's more of them out there. No one will stop us in our quest to reclaim victory. Your quest is about reclaiming victory? From who? The 85 Bears? When did the Foot Clan reign victorious within your lifetime? April just happens to be at the right place at the right time again. Well, guys, earlier you told us it was the first day of spring, and that was a couple days ago, so why is this security camera telling us it's March 13th? Honestly, this movie came out way after Keyboard Cat's peak popularity for this to be some lame-ass shit here, yo. Movie saved just oodles of money by shooting April's reaction to the crime instead of shooting the crime itself. Even if everyone ran out of this subway station in a panic, there would still be plenty of assholes who didn't get the message and would be entering the station. Plus, there would be a few stragglers, too. It's f***ing New York, man. Bear jumping. Terrible hiding spots. What? Also, why was this dude even here in the first place when all his buddies are coordinating a subway attack down below? April thinks she can get away with this. The subway's command center allowed this train to go into a station where known criminal activity is happening. Oh good, now it's gonna be dark while a rapidly edited action movie takes place before our very eyes. I guess that low light thing was just a bullshit ploy to get her inside the dock area earlier? Lucky getaway tube is lucky. Also, this might be the longest train in the history of subway transit. Also, I'm a little worried about where that train is going, since no one appears to be driving it or giving a shit where it goes. Hundreds of witnesses and kidnap victims in a terrorist attack are allowed to just leave the subway without questions or potential medical attention. Okay, now I see why the train went forever, because that means there was no escape into the tunnels, which would have been logical. Instead, they found a tube that led them outside, and they just let the worst reporter in NYC track them. That's with us, you step into the woo! Man, the Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to f*** with. Also, Ninja Turtles travel roughly 100 yards from the scene of the battle, which is now crawling with cops, before stopping to high-five and relive the memories together. 
April uses the Flash even though there are four well-trained vigilantes who look like turtles up here. Vigilantes who are supposed to help the innocent people of New York give April O'Neil whiplash or possibly paralysis after this move. Turtle toes. Oh, she's so hot I can feel my shell tightening. Having seen a video of a turtle's penis, which is a disgusting mass of abomination, that's a horrifying thought. <sighs> well, someone needs a sandwich. Have you seen that video where the cat plays chopsticks with the chopstick? 22 minutes in, we've already made two seven-year-old keyboard cat references. Here, ninja, mutant, turtle, teenagers. Close enough. Roll credits. And who put you in charge? You know who did. <sighs> Does every new Turtles franchise have to start out with that whole Raphael resents Leonardo storyline? It's been like 30 whole minutes since you guys had this argument. Yep, this movie is just going to keep shoving shit down your throat, then excusing it with a knowing wisecrack. We're on the move, Raphael. Leonardo says Raphael's name for no other reason than to keep April relevant in this movie. This image is somehow possible in this amount of light. Also, you took the phone and wiped the images to protect yourselves, but then leave the scene in a manner and speed that allows her to just take more pictures? Yeah, bro. Proper ninjas do not hoot and holler while jumping past residential windows. I know, they're teenagers, but this sh is not going unnoticed in New York City. I guess it's a good thing no one closed this manhole cover, and that the sewer is built to become an instant slide after jumping 100 feet off a building. Sewers in New York that are devoid of human waste. Speed! 3D things! Sewage! Just the kind of joke this movie needed. Luckily, this newspaper has an actual article written underneath its headline. Problem is, the exact same article appears above the headline. And these are my little turtles, Leonardo. April knew the turtles as babies? The f*** out of here. They should have called this movie Teenage Mutant Ninja Coincidences. Is that a picture from the subway attack? Wasn't her phone wiped of all the pictures she took before she ran into the turtles? They're over six feet tall and they speak English. Look, we know that April is right and she's not crazy, but she's an awful reporter and awful at figuring out how to tell a story. Even if she had evidence, I wouldn't let her report this story. She actually thinks that with a few pictures from Google and a crazy story, people will just believe her. Would all of those other great reporters that you worked with, would they have put it to bed? That's different. How is it different? Um, those reporters still had jobs. They all started exactly where I am, right? Fired? Hugest Pizza Hut box in history somehow doesn't come with free Skype software. Splinter is a terrible parent. His kids won't tell him the truth, so he punishes them by making them train, but then destroys the concept of honesty by bribing the truth out of them with pizza. Why would these assholes ever have a reason to be truthful with him unless or until he presents them with pizza? Heroes in the half shell. Wah, wah. April's arrived early this year. Did this suddenly turn into a very bad Bond movie? You didn't lose everything in the fire. Luckily for Sax, April is his former partner's daughter, who became a reporter obsessed with this one story. That led to her being in a place where she just happened to see a Ninja Turtle making his first appearance, then just happened to be in another place where the turtles showed up, where they clumsily told her their names, which led to April realizing that those same turtles grew up in her father's lab, which led her here. This camera phone photo is absolute bullshit. Do you really want to know about Project Renaissance? I was born in Japan. The story of Project Renaissance will require me to go all the way back to the time of my birth. Ninth century Japan, an evil warlord ruled the land. Nope. Wait, this story requires me to go back to the 9th century. Capable of stimulating self-repair on a cellular level. Japanese history lessons, candlelit rooms, and now cellular self-repair? Am I watching The Wolverine again? Because I really don't want to watch The Wolverine again. How could they have lived? Because I saved them. Coincidence? Meet my friend Overkill. Also, you ran into a burning lab and saved the turtles and a rat, but not your father? This business card will help Sax track April's movements, but he puts a lot of faith in the fact that she'll carry this around everywhere with her and not lose it. I'll show you up. Yeah, but didn't Vern leave her here? Thanks for the ride. Nothing better than dropping off a pretty girl at a rich guy's house. Somehow she gets back home in the next scene, apparently without any more Will Arnett hijinks. Google is, for some reason, tracking this random vigilante website's subscriber number. And they put the comma in the wrong place. Also, this search shows the local NYC time as 1.28 p.m. Problem is, we just saw that it's nighttime. Luckily for Sax, the turtles immediately hack April's computer right when she gets home, so that the business card he gave her can lead him right to the turtles. Which is why it's odd that the Foot Clan, which is currently monitoring April's movements, doesn't try to attack when they're out in the open. Right here. Initiating retinal scan. Scanning, 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 scan complete. It's her! Donatello may be a computer and gadget wizard, but there is no database of US citizens' eye scans he could possibly have tapped into for this bullshit to work. The wall of boomboxes is a cool shot, but they stole all these things, right? Surely they're not out spending what few human dollars they have on excessive boomboxes. Streets! Rooftops! Google Maps! We breached the cloaking security. This bullshit works all the way down into the sewers from some satellite. This is basically the Amazing Spider-Man origin story, complete with the Good Doc, Bad Doc partnership. And you, as always, provided us with a special treat. Doctors allow a child to wander around the lab during a sensitive experiment, feeding the control group pizza slices. A Bluetooth-enabled camcorder with that much zoom 15 years ago? The f*** out of here with that lazy-ass product placement. 
Bluetooth was only invented in 1994, and MicroMV, a proprietary Sony technology, wasn't released until 2001. Your father had discovered the truth behind the man he was working for. Damn, you have an amazing memory. Considering that while you were getting drug treatments at this point, you were still, by all evidence, just a fucking rat. His last breath was taken trying to destroy Shredder's plan. Whoa, whoa, who said anything about Shredder during all the time you were locked up in the cage? Did Sax talk about Shredder a bunch while he was there? Did Sax and Shredder have impromptu ninja sessions in the lab? I was terrified, but then you appeared. Even if this girl hung around the lab sometimes and fed the animals pizza, you're telling me she was there two minutes after her father set the place on fire and without her father? And ushered us to safety. Sewer equals safety. Like all children, they were drawn to the distractions of popular culture. Somehow they were able to watch a music video with CD quality sound even though the store above them is clearly closed, with all the TVs behind glass and a storefront security gate. Conveniently discarded ninja books. Splinter takes one look at some books, becomes sudden ninja master in a matter of hours. At least in the 1990 version, he saw the moves being performed. The turtles were then able to get into remarkable ninja shape by eating pizza all the time. I'll miss you a turtle soup potato. Yeah, but it'll be all radioactive and stuff. This wasn't discussed before you came down into the sewers. Soldiers who came in with tranquilizer guns decide to fight Splinter hand to hand instead of just tranking his ass. In this shot, we learn that the turtles not only order Pizza Hut pizza, but also only order Pizza Hut pizza. Shredder. How the f do you know that? As we were just told a minute ago, Sax just built this suit for Shredder. For all you know, it could be a giant robot or Tony Stark. Also, Shredder is Megatron. Should we call him Shreddatron or Smegmatron? You think you're their father? Finger swords. Shredder is already a master of a suit that he got like an hour ago. Sensei! After we've seen the turtles easily holding their own against multiple Foot Clan soldiers, Leo gets taken out by three with teaser sticks like a bitch. Of course, Leo fights off the bad guys, but not in time to save his master. Splinter, who was handling Shredder for the most part on his own for a while, decides his four ninja sons can't help sway the battle despite five on one odds, and locks them out of it so he can die a martyr. In other words, this is one of many New York City rat deaths that are completely unnecessary. Do the shock things work even by hitting only the shell? Are those things conductors? Oh, f*** it. Where's the fourth? He's dead. Unconfirmed kills. Also, Shredder is content not to look for his body, even though it would take just a fraction of his army to go and find it. Also, Foot Clan soldiers follow destroy this place orders in a way that leaves April O'Neil alive. Nice rainy shot of the perp walk shit, but when the Foot Clan and Shredder arrived, it was about as sunny as possible in New York. Then we go right back to sunny as hell for the raft climbs out of the rubble shot. Also, could this rising out of the rubble shot be any more of a Transformers movie shot if it tried? I mean, other than replacing the turtle with a robot, of course. Let's get into the needle room. Shredder leaves his adversary alive because he read the villain's guide to f***ing up your own plan. Movie Studio uses movie to pimp future movie. And we'll be arriving at the state in approximately 40 minutes. There is no way Sax estate in the snow-capped mountains is 40 minutes from the heart of New York City. And we will drain every last ounce of their blood to get it. Even if it kills them. Um, draining every last ounce of blood from any living creature will kill it. Also, Under Armour came to Paramount and said, We'll pay top dollar to be the shirt the bad guy is wearing during the every last ounce of blood scene. Some kind of a tracker. It's Donatello. Why is it working just now? We need a ride. And a reason to squeeze Will Arnett back into the movie. But movie earns two sins taken off due to Mustard and Parmesan Arrested Development reference. Kenny G. Oh, Neil. How the f*** do you know that? She called from a payphone, dick. Even if you want to say the sun came out after the rain, there's no way all the rain dried up this quickly. It was a vigilante sweat. Drive! Raphael waited the entire Will Arnett hits on Megan Fox scene to finally get impatient. We had this plan. And I'm gonna tell it to you, despite the fact that you don't need to know and you're just here to provide me with a mutagen I need. This is so you can thwart the plan later. Sax believes that if he doesn't show a demonstration of what poison gas does, the turtles will be clueless, and it'll be harder to thwart the plan later. The government will then send Sax Industry a blank check, and I'm gonna be rich. Like, stupid rich. Aren't you already stupid rich? You live in this mansion. Look, I'm not knocking your capitalistic ways here, but you're not even married. You don't have a family. At least Noah Cross in Chinatown had that f***ed up as it was. There's the gate right there. There it is. This is the main gate you went through when you came here earlier. But now you're going into an area of the estate you should have no f***ing clue about. Also, somehow this part of the estate is completely unguarded, with no security features of any sort. Also, Van is strong like Bull, smashes through two huge doors with no damage whatsoever. Ninja with a machine gun kills neither April nor Vern. Well, I guess there was just no other way to get out of the van. This is just comically awful shooting. Time to take a bite out of the Big Apple. The director said, let's have you take a bite out of the Big Apple. It'll make you seem like even more of an asshole. Wait, didn't we see Raph put all the other turtles' weapons on his back before leaving the hideout? Where the hell are they now? You. Shredder concerns himself with April, for reasons completely unclear. Three, four total turtles. One's fighting a robot samurai. 
Why not? Will Arnett attempts to give back all his Arrested Development cred in this one movie. Why would the bad guy who intends to draw all their blood have adrenaline hooked up and ready to revive them in quantities that allow them to f***ing bust out of their cages? Just goes to show you can lose most of your blood, but if you get an overdose of adrenaline, you're good. Also, adrenaline makes it so that you can crash through glass that was clearly unbreakable a minute ago, despite Raphael's best efforts. Go where? Back tower! New York City! Times Square! Shredder's going to release a toxin! We'd have no conclusion whatsoever to this movie if the bad guy hadn't told all three captive turtles the intimate details of his plan. It'd be like, where should we go? I don't know. Ah, oh, damn, the world ended. Fuck. Bad guys suddenly have great aim when it comes to hitting the turtle shells, causing a convenient ricochet. Can't they just shoot at the juicy turtle eggs? Why is the semi a better get to New York quick vehicle than the news van? Keys. Yeah, keys better. Person stealing vehicle conveniently finds the keys in the sun visor cliche. Let's go! Where the f were these assholes the whole time? Chilling by the pool? The turtles didn't steal this Hummer! Shit, why didn't they each take a better vehicle than the semi? Since the keys are probably all stored in the sun visors. Faster, smaller, more maneuverable villain vehicles will now easily catch up to the tractor trailer the turtles decided to drive. Oh no! How in the f did this asshole get here in front of them? This rocket scores a direct hit, and all it does is inconvenience the truck's path. Handy Nail comes from the Matrix Reloaded school of handy things to hang on to when you're about to get thrown from a rig. Wait, they only had one rocket? One more and they could have sent this thing down the mountain. This semi sliding down the mountain but turning around to somehow still control it scene is honestly, seriously, more ridiculous than that skydiving tank bullshit in the A team. Fire! Wait, this guy has gone from shooting rockets to electric cables? Somehow wheeled vehicles are able to keep up with Leo through all the rocks, trees, small cliffs, and other ski slope shit on this mountain. I've always wanted to try this! This situation comes up often, does it? I'm not sure whether to send Michelangelo's rocket powered skateboard or the fact that this is the first time we've heard of or seen it. Oh, Neil, what are you doing? After all the cool shit is done, April decides to start taking pictures. Yeah, I'm sure you'd be dead in most cases, but adrenaline, yo. If you can take time during your sliding to try and wake someone up, then are you really sliding anymore? There is no spoon. And there is no mountain. There's a 500 foot drop off in 53 seconds! It then takes 80 seconds to get to the drop off. Oh, come on. There is no way this vehicle is running alongside them right now. Remember this? There's nothing but rocky terrain on that side. Yep, it's been more than four minutes, yet multiple vehicles are still somehow in control, speeding down a mountain. Just FYI. 12 seconds and we're going over! It then takes 47 seconds to get to the drop-off. Boy, Leo, April, and that other guy. They were so young, so beautiful. They ain't dead! No, no. How did you hear Michelangelo, and how do you know they're not dead? Handy split in the cliff allows Leonardo to wedge his sword into the rock. And somehow the momentum didn't jerk Vern and April loose from a grip on his shell that appears to be tenuous at best. Evil villain armor actually looks so cumbersome it should be interfering with his ability to control this tiny keypad. Also, isn't this the exact same villain plan from The Amazing Spider-Man? I wonder if the crane operators will band together to help the turtles save the day. Luckily, New York's sewer system is a series of water slides that get you straight to your destination in speedy fashion. Satellite imagery shows Shredder's reached the top of Sax Tower! If that's where he's releasing the toxin from, it's gonna spread all over the city! Yeah, exactly what he told you it would do when he told you the plan earlier. Bring the mutagen to Splinter. You guys lost a lot of blood earlier, right? No rest, no food, no drink, no nutrients at all since then? I'm still scratching my head about that. Sax Laboratory's on the 36th floor. I've already disabled the security system. Man, Donnie's so good at hacking, the movie doesn't even bother to show us his work. And he did it while sliding down a sewer pipe at like 100 miles an hour. Initiating the toxin release procedure. Oh, f You have to initiate a procedure? God damn it. Like villains from any standard martial arts movie, the turtles attack Shredder one at a time for maximum uselessness. Oh, come on! If your father walked in on me, April, just like you did. Took a few less bullets to take him down, though. Splinter said he remembered April's dad dying in a fire, which is what I wish this movie would do. Five minutes? Why not just release it now? Movie's so desperate for conflict that has the building's metallic seams start to rip apart because a couple of turtles are hanging off of it. That's great, but shouldn't this next level up on the building immediately start coming apart at the weight of three turtles? Shredder's mega swords get stopped by Raphael's sigh. <sighs> we only got 50 more seconds before the toxins release. How do you know that? Well, maybe you have super sight or some shit, but you were busy fighting Shredder this whole time, so when did you get a peek at the toxin countdown screen? No, we do what Leo says. Lead the way. Raph Leo conflict resolves itself without any real reason whatsoever, making me wonder what it was doing in the film to begin with. Instead of using his natural powers to throw the turtles off the building, Shredder decides to keep letting them interrupt his toxin masturbation session. It only took 2 minutes and 50 seconds to become 35. Seems fair. Discount evil robot Wolverine. Four. Three. Timer-based doomsday device deactivated with two seconds left on the clock. Swords now have the ability to cut down this huge tower with no problem, even though a minute ago they could not beat Raphael's sigh. <sighs> this is all that's left! Little girl. Why does Shredder care about the mutagen? He still gets what he wants out of the deal by killing lots of people with the toxin, right? In fact, why the hell did April even show up on top of the building? 
Shouldn't she be taking this stuff to a safe place in case the turtles don't win? Uh, no. Also, it's gonna take some serious Skyping to get out of this jam. Gotcha, God, she fell further than that, didn't she? This spire hasn't broken and killed everyone yet. Swing me towards him! Do it! Leonardo thinks this is a good idea. Wait a minute, was that part of the swing her towards him plan? She didn't know that was gonna happen, but it's exactly what needed to happen for this kick to work. All four turtles and April survived this. I so did not understand the ending of Lost! Bullshit. If you watched the show's run, you maybe didn't like the ending, but you understood it, unless you're seven. We made it! Does the tower spire somehow protect you from the thousands of feet you just fell? Also, somehow, no one on the ground sees any of these assholes. Where was this magical sewer grate in relation to the crash site? And somehow they found a route to it that missed every single eyeball in New York. Why'd you be comfortable? How did they know April would be here? We figured we owed you a thanks for keeping our secret. That's why we're riding around in the most ridiculous vehicle possible and honking our horn and shit. Directed by Michael Bay is all most people will ever think or remember. Holy shit, this movie can't end, can it? It's nice, it tastes good, it's candy. Whenever someone takes flame to this city, I will be there to put the fire out. And remember, wherever there is injustice, you will find us. You will find the three amigos! And I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. And you gave us freedom. Such a Give us us free! If we are to have any semblance of order in this courtyard... Give us and us free! Don't tase me, bro! Don't tase me! I can't do anything! Ow! The government will then send Saks Industry a blank check, and I'm gonna be rich. Like, stupid rich. Why are you doing it? How much better can you eat? What can you buy that you can't already afford? The future, Mr. Gitz. Players, you have used to dial 